This video covers one of my favorite features in Cinema 4D R17. They finally have a tracker system that's built in that you can use to track data from uh, your video camera. So with a couple simple trackers, you can now track and recreate the camera data from position of the from the footage automatically. And it's a really great system. It's built in and does auto tracking pretty nicely. So here's a piece of footage which we provided for you with a bunch of tracker dots in there. And it'll reconstruct all the all the information. And with full re 3D reconstruction, it'll build a camera that will move inside of the scene and recreate your, your scene. So the goal is to put CG elements inside of, a, of your real life footage and have it match perfectly. And with the power of Arnold from Solid Angle as a plug-in for um, Cinema 4D, it's really a, a great combination of tools. So I'll show you how to reconstruct the, um, the footage and have it actually match back to the 000 space instead of Cinema 4D so everything's all aligned. You can create ground planes that match almost perfectly with the, uh, in this case, the, the countertop of my kitchen or an alleyway in Chicago a little bit later. You can put objects in the scene and have them look like they're matching exactly with the motion of the camera. So almost indistinguishable from, uh, from reality. So a couple quick little tests here and within minutes you're underway. But we won't leave it with boxes. We'll, uh, we'll put in something a little more sophisticated. We'll start building some shaders and uh, use HDRI information for both reflection and lighting and using Arnold's uh, sky shader and the um, shadow matte material, which is amazing. Uh, I can make it look like it's actually really there. So, and uh, we'll use alpha channels. We'll do a couple simple AOVs just to get the, uh, the illusion across. I'm using a Theta S camera, which is a really great tool from uh, Ryko that uh, captures 360, full 360 images. And we'll do bracketed exposures and combine those images together very quickly to create full 360 HDRI images uh, within Photoshop pretty easily. We use uh, Photoshop's content aware um, tools to remove any extra shadows and fix any mistakes. But the nice thing about this camera is it's right in that same location. It's exactly where your character is going to be or your object is going to be. So the lighting information is very specific to that very specific locality. So again, we'll uh, just model some simple object to match the, uh, the footage. In this case, I'm just going to do a little cup using the great tools inside of uh, Cinema 4D. I'm cutting and adding little handles on it to kind of match the uh, little cup I have inside the scene. You'll see how close we can, we can get to matching the footage with these CG elements. And with a couple simple uh, renders, you can see the uh, shadow information matches almost perfectly with the uh, footage using the HDR image to create the sh that shadow information. And we'll comp it into um, Fusion and actually use Fusion's tracking ability to remove some of the tracking markers that we placed in there for accurate tracking. We'll go to a um, location in Chicago where I like to uh, photograph some little science fiction effects for with my students, which is this nice alleyway with uh, a lot of cool features. And again, taking our Theta S camera and popping it in there to capture those 360 images, the bracketed exposure images. Uh, we can take those and put them right into, into Cinema 4D again. We'll track that footage from, uh, from our cameras, which I'll provide for you as well, although you can create your own uh, quite easily. And we'll just do this, those auto tracking. We'll do multiple stage auto tracking. We'll track and uh, track again, doing bi-directional tracking just to kind of capture all the data that's possible. And then of course we'll reconstruct that information. We'll realign this the scene and we should get almost perfect uh, camera footage tracking uh, within a few, a few seconds. So what used to be very time consuming and painstaking is now very, very simple with Cinema 4D. And the new version of Cinema 4D R17, the latest uh, release that came out, really makes this very solid and very stable. So you can reconstruct the uh, ground planes and objects inside the scene so that CG objects match perfectly with your, your, your actual space from the uh, video camera.
So very quickly and very elegantly and very accurately, we can get a tremendous amount of, uh, of power out of the Cinema 4D. We'll make a simple character here just for fun, using some more advanced uh, shaders that are uh, available for, for um, Arnold for Cinema 4D. Create our own little shaders here, including a shadow mask material. We'll take the data from our from our uh, alleyway shot and using content aware fills inside of Photoshop, we'll get rid of any extra tripods and other stuff we don't need in the scene and uh, be able to render out using the lighting and reflection information from the HDRI images. Be able to light and get the character to look like it's like it's right there. And one more time, taking it all into fusion for the uh, composite, getting those shadows and reflections to match almost perfectly uh, in the scene. So you can get a tremendous amount of power now from a very from one package or one or two packages combining Cinema 4D and Fusion from Black Magic. Looking